Hi, today I'm going to tell you about this program Views. It's free. You don't need to have an account or anything like that. Right now I'm downloading some songs. I don't know what songs. And I use Views when I go to a torrent website like the Pirate Bay or I go to BT Junkie. Now here is where the torrent files are. Don't freak out when you hear the word torrent. I go in here, I get a torrent file and when I click it then I begin downloading what you would think of as regular files like mp3 files or uh, video or other programs. So it only takes a few minutes to install and then you can go to one of these websites and begin downloading right away. Okay let's go to the views website. Okay, if it says it doesn't have the Java runtime, just say download that. Luckily it's gotten easier, you don't have to go to some different website and download that. It will just download this Java runtime environment for you automatically. I always like to use customize because I don't want it to install any menu bar, any views menu bar or something like that. I go to customize. I want to make sure they're not installing anything I don't want. Desktop icon. Yes, I want to associate torrents with the views. So anytime I get a torrent from the internet, it's going to be automatically put into views. This is what I don't want. I don't want this toolbar. Oh, and then they try to trick you right there. See, now I can't unclick the Bing uh, browser search, so I'm going to re-click that, unselect that. No, I don't want views to be my home page. And you don't even need that. See, they're trying to get you to install that views remote. I don't want that. Always trying to trick you. No, I don't want this game feature. I don't want these games. It does a lot of the internet setup for you. Okay, let's go into the configuration wizard. Okay, this is going to try to set up our speed and connection to make sure we get the best connection possible. Okay, it's just setting up my computer, uh, making sure that I, I'm uploading at a good speed and downloading at a good speed. We're going to test our TCP and UDP. Okay, they're both good. You can read more about that later, TCP and UDP. It's uh, also a similar concept, just making sure that we can get things from other people's computers and they can get things from our computer quickly. Here you can decide where you want your documents to be saved. I want to show you this website, BT Junkie. You can come in here and let's say 80s hits. Now I do this if I'm just going to do a shotgun approach and just try to find some new artists that I didn't know about before. Let's see here, top 100 hits. 71 people have this and two people are downloading it. 587 megabytes, that sounds 
that sounds legitimate. You know, if it says a hundred songs and it only has five megabytes, it's not. You know, maybe something's not right there, like a virus or something. It's not actually what it says it is. The good thing about torrents, we can read uh, comments. The comments all seem to be positive. No one says it's fake or empty or anything like that. So let's download that. And then another website I want to show you is the Pirate Bay. You can look in here for certain documents, certain audio files. Okay, where it hits, 35 people are seeding this, are giving it out, and 6 people are downloading. No one says it's empty or fake or has a virus inside of it, so we can go ahead and download it. Yes, we're going to use views. Okay, now let's go back to views. That one's going to be downloaded in about 3 hours, and that other one is going to be downloaded in about 5 hours, and that's about it and remember that they're going to be downloaded to your folder here they're going to go to my C drive documents views downloads